Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Kate Sullivan. Tonight, a legal bombshell. You'll only see it on CBS2. It's what the Lake County coroner calls newly discovered X-ray scans. Those X-rays of the skull of little Benjamin Kingen could reportedly be critical in the defense of a woman sitting behind bars for his death. CBS2's Brad Edwards live at the Lake County coroner's office with this original report. Brad. Good evening, Robin Kate. A young woman convicted and now imprisoned for murder. Now, these two slides may not only prove her innocence, but show a crime was never committed. To be clear, these have not been seen publicly before. That is correct. New coroner, Dr. Thomas Rudd. These may be the linchpin in a conviction in question. Maybe Melissa Kalyasinski's key to freedom, convicted of murder for fracturing a toddler's skull. Why don't I see it here? Kalyasinski was grilled by Lake County investigators in 2009. Did somebody intentionally hurt him? Yeah, I, I would never put my hands on it, ever. I never put my hand on the chest, ever. I, and I've never taken my eyes off of those kids. 79 times Kalyasinski with a low verbal IQ denied harming 16-month-old Ben Kingen, then in the ninth hour of interrogation. Okay. So I got angry, yeah. and I went, boom. Her conviction is based on wrong evidence. It was said the child suffered a skull fracture, tantamount to a two-story fall. The x-ray evidence at first, the milky ones on the left, indiscernible. Then an anonymous tip led to new scans, still in the system on the right. We should see a gray space like this in a line form right here. No fracture. No fracture. No fracture on the skull, and as for that fall, no other breaks. And, and you don't see any? None whatsoever. Completely normal. The doctor says it was clearly a pre-existing head injury, something the parents saw a doctor about weeks before the alleged incident. You say definitively no skull fracture. Correct. Yet someone sits in prison still convicted of murder. That's correct. I mean, she shouldn't be. Are you going to change the manner of death? I'm considering it. That changing the manner of death, potentially making it not a homicide. We reached out to the state's attorneys here after office hours. They told us since the case is already going through an ongoing post-conviction review, they're unable to comment. We're live tonight in Waukegan, Brad Edwards, CBS 2 News, Robin Kate. They're unable to comment, Brad, but if the coroner changes the manner of death, what is uh, Kal Yuzinski's future? Well, that's still, it still will be ultimately up to the court. It would be one more salvo, including all of those, you know, the re-review of, of that initial uh, admission of guilt. Uh, it would just be another tentacle in what will surely be an entangled court process. Rob? All right. Thanks so much, Brad.